Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for coming back for another video, or welcome if it's your first time. Uh, David here. Um, this is a bit of a strange video if it's your first one, but just bear with me. Um, watch some of the other videos too. Um, so it's the end of the year. Uh, I think this is uploading on Christmas Eve, and I really just didn't have time to make a, a deep video like I have been in the last few weeks. Um, so I'm just going to give you a little update of what I've done recently, what I'm going to do soon and uh, wish you a happy Christmas and show you, I've got a little bonus scene at the end, uh, you can see the uh, Christmas illuminations in Osaka, Nakanoshima, um, they have some projection mapping, very nice, um, I saw that yesterday, so that's our little bonus scene if you want to watch something interesting, except my face. Um, as you can see, yeah, I'm getting Christmassy here, I've got my Christmas jumper, um, thanks to Sam for sending this one, I'll just give you a show, here we are, Merry Christmas, it's a, it's a lot, isn't it? <laughs> But um, this is this is like a teletext themed. If you don't know what teletext is, either look on Wikipedia or don't worry about it. This is like a real generation gap thing, very British thing. <laughs> um, but thanks for sending this sweater. I finally have a chance to use it. Uh, I think last year it came just after Christmas, so it felt a bit weird wearing a Christmas sweater. Um, anyway, here we are. Ho ho ho. Uh, so what have I been doing recently? I've been trying to get a lot of these big projects out of the way. Um, I finally did my 47 prefectures video, so please check that out. It took me a long time, so uh, yeah, I appreciate that if you watch it. I did my travel guide to um, oh, traveling in Osaka, the train guide, which is surprisingly more popular than I thought. Um, that's sort of, yeah, always pleasing to see. Uh, what else did I do? I talked about uh, Hosoda Mamoru, his back catalog. I've watched all of those. And yeah, everything really, just watch them all. <laughs> if you've got some free time over Christmas, just help out my stats a bit, watch some of my videos, share the interesting ones with your friends, uh, that would uh, help me out a lot. Uh, so what's coming up? Um, I'm, I'm a bit worried I'm gonna burn out of, uh, of, of um, video ideas. But I do have my big idea, the, the biggest idea. In fact, this is the reason I started the channel in the first place. Hopefully you've been keeping up with the uh, Best of Osaka um, area videos. I've had eight of those so far, there's a playlist for it. Um, they've not been that successful, even though it's probably the most labour intensive thing I ever do on this on this uh, channel. So never mind, but I'm gonna finally put together my best 50 places to visit in Osaka. Uh, that's coming hopefully New Year's Eve. Um, I'm gonna try and not make it too long uh, so you can, well maybe it is, you can just relax on the sofa after, after New Year with a hangover. Listen to my droney voice, lulling you off to sleep. And uh, if you sleep through it, that's fine, watch it again. I'll, I'll be happy about that too. Um, yeah, I told you several times on this channel, but if in case you haven't heard, the whole reason I started making YouTube channel uh, videos was because I watched a video saying the best 50 places in Osaka. I'm not gonna name and shame the YouTuber, but it got to about 30 or 35, and then they said, oh, take a train to Kyoto, or um, go to Kobe, and the rest of the the places were all um, outside Osaka, so I felt a little bit shortchanged. Uh, Osaka is a really interesting place, very varied uh, attractions, so that's the the reason. And two and a half years later, oh, a bit of fluff. Uh, two and a half years later, I'm finally ready to uh, make it. Uh, I've been I've been making it piecemeal, but you're going to get the big mama at the end. So look out for that next week. Um, I'd appreciate if you uh, took a look at that. And um, I kind of need some ideas really. I, I've got a few ideas like off uh, spin-offs of things I've done already. Um, getting a bit derivative. If there's anything you're interested in, um, places you want me to go, places I've mentioned but not really gone in deeply, uh, or more travel information videos. I was really shocked. My, my number two video of all time uh, is only uh, about four months ago I think I posted the uh, Kansai Airport, uh, how to navigate it. Um, so I was really blown away by how successful that's been. My first video made it to 10,000 views. That's the um, shopping shopping for snacks video. That's finally made it to 10,000. And at the same time, the Kansai Airport one made it to 5,000, which is unbelievable, really. Most of mine barely reached 100, so I'm <laughs> really happy about that. Um, yeah, so anywhere you want me to go, any food you want me to try, if you have any questions about Japan, I'm always interested to hear them. I've been trying to answer the comments as, uh, as, as much as I can. There aren't that many, so I can, I can keep on top of it, but please overwhelm me with your comments. That would uh, make me happy too. Um, so I guess that's all really. Just um, please celebrate, have a nice Christmas. Uh, I've got my Christmas tree up. Well, I can't, I can't put it in shot, but it's, um, it's a bit wonky actually. I, I want to redo it. Uh, I'm gonna have some fried chicken, I guess. I'm working on Christmas Day this time. 
Um, never mind. But um, actually, that's my own fault. I did volunteer, but that's my last day of uh, of work for that year. Uh, I'm going to be, I think, taking a trip to Ehime if everything goes well uh, in Shikoku. So look out for a, a little trip video. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do there. Um, it's just the chance arose. So I thought, yeah, go to Ehime. Ehime. Oh dear, I can't talk today. I'm too excited. I've been doing uh, Nazatoki games as well. Uh, Nazatoki games are, well, there's all kinds of um, Nazatoki games. Nazo is a puzzle and Toki is like solving. It's a puzzle solving, it's like a treasure hunt kind of puzzle quest thing. There's no prize at the end, but um, still, uh, I'm going to make a video about those. Uh, no spoilers, don't worry. Um, that's why I'm so tired today, because I did one of them yesterday. I was trekking all around Osaka on Osaka Metro and uh, I still haven't finished yet. There's a few bits I've got to finish off at home, so I'll talk about Nazatokis next year as well. Um, okay, I think that's it for me. I'm gonna be waffling. I've done six minutes already. I'm gonna pass over to the um, winter illuminations. The winter illuminations are quite popular in Japan. They're not Christmas illuminations exactly, although you do see Christmas trees around. Um, but winter illuminations typically happen in December, sometimes running up until February when it's still dark and cold. Um, the ones in Nakanoshima, which is really central of uh, uh, center of Osaka, it's where the city hall is. Uh, they have a kind of projection mapping um, illumination show. So it's not very long, I think it's about five, five or ten minutes. So I'm going to put that at the end of this video. Please enjoy it. And uh, as always, like, subscribe, leave a comment and share this channel. That's going to help me so much. Thanks for all your support this year. Um, watch all the videos you missed. Now you know, you've got a chance. <laughs> and uh, leave a comment for me. I'm, 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 I need the attention. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to pass over now. So have a happy Christmas and see you next week for my Big 50 Osaka um, sightseeing spots. I'm going to think of a better title before that. Okay, let's go. See you.